guys welcome back i hope you guys are enjoying so in this video i am going to cover uh, two three problems which i have faced uh, with my fire alarm system recently uh, so i thought to share with you guys because in fire system you will find uh, various problems there will be a list of problems troubleshoot and many things which are there in the manual so i am going to cover only two three problems which i have faced so that uh, you will also get an idea so the three faults which i have faced they are uh, no answer dirty sensor and the loop unit type change if we talk about the new no answer problem no answer you can receive from any module which is installed uh, on bridge or it can coming from your loop system or from a particular sensor also so if you are talking about any module the module may be uh, you have changed in the module and uh, it is not of the same type so you can receive this alarm no answer if you have changed the module and you have not changed the address properly like uh, the address is matching with the current any of other module address so if two modules are there with the same address or any sensor or any uh, if i talk about any sensor or any module it uh, applies for both like two sensors or two modules with same address they are going to give you no answer uh, fault so this can be a cause and the second can be a, like uh, module or any sensor is faulty then also it is going to give you no answer problem third can be your cable break there can be any cable break or there might be any short circuit which is present in your module or uh, in your loop system or in your sensor so all these things are going to create no answer problem for you so the display will always show no answer either it can be module or uh, your any sensor best thing uh, you can do is you can change with the spare sensor and you can see uh, that the problem is rectified or not or in case of smoke sensor or any flame sensor you can uh, try cleaning as per uh, the maker recommendation the second is the dirty sensor dirty sensors as per the manual as per the consolian manual they recommend to change the sensor but uh, you try to clean it first if it is flame you can clean with the um, cotton or you can use a tissue paper to clean the glass if it is a smoke sensor uh, you can dismantle it uh, like i have dismantled it and you can clean all the lenses and so you can clean all this area so that uh, you can also clean the mesh also you can see here so and you can try after cleaning you can try this if it is working properly and the, your fault is removed then it is good otherwise you have to change the sensor the third one is a uh, loop unit type change this is like a different alarm which i received on this ship and the main focus for making this video is this alarm only because uh, i have to follow some steps and i was running like here and there to find the uh, exact problem how to rectify this problem so how i did it like uh, the problem was there was a old sensor which was giving no no answer problem and i tried to clean it and put it back but still the problem was there uh, then i planned to change the sensor and then i saw that uh, the spears which i have is of different uh, type it is from the same maker but different type it is because the one which is installed in my ship already installed they are all uh, old type and old models and the company has already updated that models and the unit which has installed or the sensor which has installed they are absolute so they are providing uh, with a new type of sensor so these are the new type of sensor you can see here so it is basically uh, smoke and heat combined so what i did i did all uh, normal procedure like uh, i removed the old sensor i changed the address exactly as the old one and i place it back and i received this 144 uh, loop unit type change so to rectify this uh, what i did i have 
went on the bridge and I have opened this complete panel of fire alarm system and in that uh, you will see these modules are there. So I have removed the module which is connected to this uh, loop and uh, the steps is that uh, you have to uh, you have to remove it and you have to remove it very carefully because these are very delicate and if you are not going to handle it properly it is going to create more problems. So you have to remove it. You have to uh, you have to off all the addresses which is there. So keep it off and put it back again. The module you have to put it back again, and you have to wait for three uh, blinking signal of all the lights. So three times if all the lights blinks on and off, on and off three times, then uh, again you can unplug all the wires and you can remove the module. And change back the original address so you have to note down this original address and uh, once you make it all off may make it all zero and then you uh, have done this uh, three time blinking procedure and again you have to put it back the original address and place it back again now what this uh, module will do it will uh, take address which are present in the system and it will it will like it is like to update itself with the new address or the new sensor which is installed so your new sensor will be added to the system and this module will always sense that so like this you are going to solve this problem so guys uh, i hope uh, you came to know something in this video about fire alarm system if you want to know something more or you are facing some uh, other problems uh, with this consolium uh, do write me in the comments so that uh, I will also come to know and uh, if I am able to solve your problem uh, of course I will do it. So guys uh, I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.